Hello, everyone around this big, beautiful blue marble we call Earth in whatever universe you may live in. I'm Robert Nickel. This is Cody Williams, and welcome to the arena. All right, we got ourselves right. a Diamond's Division action match tonight. Mm. Uh, out first, of course, is Wyona Earth, the uh, outlaw herself. All right. Um, tonight, she will go one on one with the speed demon herself, Elizabeth Frieza. Oh, boy. And with uh, what's with, with uh, Elizabeth been through as of late? Yeah, I would. I I almost feel sorry for Wyona, but she's known to take on a fight any day of the week. You're not wrong. Of course, Wyona, uh, a, le a descendant of the legendary man himself, uh, Wyatt Earp. Mm. Very true. Oh God! Yeah, you can't get used to that one. Because the no, speed I do not. Yeah, because the speed demon has arrived. Yep, yeah, right. Gotta get ready for, for this next one. And embrace. Anyway, as stated, Elizabeth Frieza, arguably one of the, one of virtual wrestling's greatest women, the only one, the first woman to help both the call stars and Queens of Wrestling's Women's Championships at the same time. Yeah. Former, former CCL Bombshells Tag Team Champion. She's the, she's basically won a lot of titles in her career. Former CCL Women's Champion. Former CCL Women's Champion. She's basically won a lot of... I was in ZZW. ZZW, sorry. A lot of world titles in her career. But the one title she has not been able to capture here in the People's World Wrestling is, of course, the Diamonds World title. Right. Which is, of course, being held by Tony Storm. Hmm. Everything else. Yes, indeed. And as I stated before, Elizabeth's been going through a lot of stuff hey. um, outside of the People's Global Wrestling. Case in point, what's been going on with her former ta with her tag team partner in um, in the DCA and one Carmen Cortez. That's a whole conversation I don't want to get into. Yeah, that's a rabbit hole. Yeah, and also, yeah, well, 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 and also remember, Frieza is of course a tier two competitor, and she is the indeed the current number one contender to the Diamonds Intercontinental Championship, which is, I do believe, being held by one Ivy Embers. And here we go. Here we go. We're off. And we're off on the collar elbow tie up. Wyona puts her in the corner. And we get a clean break. And as stated, the ran oh, it just, just rams him right back in there. Like yeah. I said, like I said, Wyoming Herb isn't is isn't afraid to th to throw down a few fists. Hell no, she's not. She is, she is taking this she is taking this match head on because she knows a win here here, here tonight can help her a lot in the rankings for the in the diamonds division. All right, it will. Yeah, we got it. Single leg crab here from the Wyona Herb. Or Boston crab. Or, or Boston crab, depending on who you ask. If Wyona Herb oh, is smart. Oh, fair enough. If Wyona Herb is oh. smart, and I know she is, she's got to be careful of Priest's kicks. Because even though she's not mentally well, she right. Legs. Yeah. Even though she's not mentally prepared, she's still got one of the meanest kicks in the game. You ain't wrong. She hit that speed kick. You're, you're a freaking sleep. Yeah, you're you're in La La Land, but baby, and that's not and that's not a joke. But Wyona Earp, she she can she also got a big move of her own that can hit fast, the Peacekeeper. Mm. And, and which Freeze has got to be careful of as well. Oh, Brain Buster! Yes, sir. That was almost like a stolen Brain Buster. And see what I mean? There's that striking capability of Elizabeth Freeza. Okay, yeah, it's up for you. Wait, now Prisa isn't. Ah, oh. jeez. God. Rips the leg there, and now. Oh, boy, that's a submission hole there from Prisa to a heel hook. We are way too close to the rope stop. Ring positioning, always ring positioning, always an hmm. evil fact is a factor in these in these matches. Right. 
And as stated, we are on the road to TPGW's very first episode of the um, of the new season, Live 45, Christmas at the Garden on Christmas Day. It's gonna be one. It's gonna be one hell of a night in in New York City. Damn right. I love the craziness. And we've already confirmed that. And we've already confirmed that on the opening match for the um, for Live 45. It's a spectacular one. It's going to be for the TPGW World Heavyweight Championship. D Duncan Vermeil challenging Sun Gohan because the main event is going to is going to be for the t for the Diamonds World Title. Damn right. That's just and that's just for Live 45. We got a lot of other crazy matches set up for, for episode four, 31 of Fury on New Year's Day. Of course. Of course, we have, of course, the tag team titles on the line as the Riot Brothers defend against okay. the Dragon Slayers. Yep. Well, that's probably going to be Violet. Personal yes. in between. And also, for the for the second time ever in the People's Global Wrestling, we will have a Queens of Wrestling world title match. Well, that's that the Chris is going, actually. I, I thought it was, I thought it was like, Theory 30. I, I've been wrong. Yeah. Anyway, oh, no. Raza, Raza, Raza! Fire, Raza! Sweep. Fire sweep into Gurry! Fire sweep right on the money! That might knock her out. No, oh, just a two count off the fire sweep. Everything else. Yeah, that fire sweep usually will set up for the speed kick. Oh, look at this! Dragon Another sleeper! Dragon sleeper! That is... Man, that, that version hurts! The whatever version of Prisa gets you in a drag, so you're, you're tapping. Yeah, but not this Wyona case. Arp, Wyona Arp is too tough to tap. She'll she'll gladly pass out, but she ain't tapping out. Of course. I mean, I mean she, I mean Wyona Arp. We know her very well, not only here at TPGW, but she's been making strides over in UCWL. I, primarily I, more, more dealing with a, with a certain group that our current Queens of Wrestling Soul Silver Champion is running with. Mm. On Garuda. Yeah. And hey, I, ha, oh. ha, hey! Oh, you know that, I'm you know, not surprised when it comes to Breeza. I am Frieza, not. Breeza is known to take, a, to take any chance she can. You know, she will break the rules if she has to. She loves, bend, she loves to bend into her will, I'll tell you that much. But why on She could be going yeah, for the peacemaker. Got it! Peacemaker right on the money! That could be it for Prisa! One! Two! Two! Oh! Oh! Just a two count off the Peacemaker! Not enough! Both ladies hitting the big shot, big shot moves and Prisa could... And it looks like Wyona's gonna go for it! No! Wait a minute! No! She got out of it! Prisa got out of that one! Out! Ah! Oh, Patella Brain Buster! And now, oh boy, I think it, I think Prisa's had enough, and I think she might be setting up for the. Oh, I thought she was gonna think. think no, it's right, you brought up Fury 31 earlier, right? Yeah. The hardcore chance will be on the line. Oh God! That's, I can, yeah, that's you're the right. hell hell defense against Venom in a ladder match. A ladder match! Oh God! Wait a minute, Prisa. Oh, I think she's uh -oh. gonna hit it. No, wait a minute. She Cool. Looks like looks like Lionel's been taking what I heard. She's staying away from that speed kick. But yeah, I, I can confirm with that, Cody. That at Fury 31, the Hellhound Charles Schultz, the new TPGW Hardcore Champion, will have his first will have his first defense against Venom in a ladder match and Peacemaker! Don't forget that we easy. Ugh. Oh, God, a second well, Peacemaker. No! That's another two count, and, and Wyona's starting to get frustrated. Nice job, break it there from, from Frieza. Frieza now. And for a scoop slam. Oh, God. Oh, but hung on. Oh, Flatjack. Nothing else. There. That's a two count off the flatjack to the ro ropes. Hmm. And nothing else. Like I said, both women wanted to get some big W's. Prisa more often, more like, more often because she's got a big title match. She is the current number one contender 
to Ivy Ember's Intercontinental Championship as she needs this win to stay in the number one spot in Tier 2. Indeed. Earp, on the other hand, she would love to get a, get a win of her own so she can move up in the rankings in her tier. Yeah. Dice bread. Uh, dice bread. Cover. <laughs> and we and we can now we can now confirm that uh, that later on in the later later on down the line, Miss uh, Miss uh, Miss Preza will in fact challenge Ivy Embers for the win for the Diamonds Intercontinental Championship somewhere down the line here in the arena. No, 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 that dragon should block dead. But um, but Wyona Herb gets out of it easily. Mm. Oh, again with the jawbreaker. Sure. So far, it's been back and forth between both ladies here tonight in the arena. Yes, oh, it has. Herb, Herb. Ah! God. I think she's about to go oh, again. How are you done? Jeez. Three super kicks in the in the corner from Wyona Herb, and she's gonna go, she's gonna load up the peacemaker one last time. Wait a minute. I think I think Prisa saw it coming there. Thanks, so. Oh, kick to the back. Dice bread. Dice bread again. Got it. Got it. Sticks the line and cover. Who? Don't even say about it. The second dice bread, it hits the money. And Elizabeth Prisa takes the W here in the arena. Just like that. Yes, indeed. But you got to give Wyona Earp a lot of credit. She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of virtual wrestling's greats and hung in there. Mm. Now, Damn now, right. Now, Prisa has much-needed momentum for her upcoming Intercontinental title match against Ivy Embers later down the line in the arena. But for but for Wyona Earp, it's gonna be it's gonna be she's gonna have a little bit of it, trouble. She is behind the eight ball, as the saying goes, in the rankings. Mm. And what a matchup here tonight. Again, I'd like to thank you all for watching with us. We're out of time. For Cody Williams, I'm Robert Minicle. We'll see you next time right here in the arena.